How do you know you're getting the best deal on a new or used car? Call 1-844-765-0610. Make one phone call to hear about all the great deals near you. Call 1-844-765-0610 today. All right, welcome to the journey. Taking on the 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe in a week-long review. We got the two-liter turbo ultimate. This is the top trim level, all-wheel drive. It does come in front-wheel drive as well. So we're going to go on a little documentation of what this vehicle is all about this week as you follow me around and as I explore it and learn new things and then share those new things with you. So that's what we're doing. And uh, it's got to be fun. Thanks for watching. So if you're new to these week-long video reviews, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna carry my camera with me throughout the week, maybe Monday through Friday, but definitely Monday through Friday, but not every single day. And I'll give you a new element or a new demonstration or talk about a new feature on the vehicle. Monday, like today, I'm gonna give a quick overview, talk about the different trim levels, engine, and then throughout the week, I'll do a backseat legroom and headroom, I'll do a cargo demo, and some other cool technology things with it, what's new, what's not new, how about just what's new? So I'm gonna kick things off with four trim levels on this one. Again, the Sport 2.4, 2.4 Value, 2.0 Turbo, 2.0 Turbo Ultimate, which we have each available in front wheel and all wheel drive. MSRP range is $25,000 to $37,000. Now there's a bunch of new things on this one for 2018 and let's learn about it. Building upon major 2017 enhancements such as fresh exterior design and LED lighting signatures to additional infotainment safety features and new drive mode selection. An all new value package, that's what Hyundai calls it, on the Santa Fe Sport, is supposed to deliver popular features at an exceptional value. So here's what's included on this value package for 2018. Heated dual power side mirrors with turn signal indicators, power windows with front auto up and down, proximity key with push button start, 7-inch display audio with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I'll talk more about Apple CarPlay soon. Hyundai Blue Link connected car system, power driver seat with lumbar support, heated front seats, LED daytime running lights, front fog lights, and roof side rails. On the inside, you're looking at premium wood finish trim, now standard on leather equipped Santa Fe and Santa Fe Sports. The Blue Link equipped Santa Fe Sports and Santa Fe's now include all services standard for a full three years. Let's go ahead and pop it in reverse. Check out this uh, backup camera, 360 degrees, and there are different angles that you can see of the car based on the different camera points of view. Back into the right, back into the left, straight back, and then 360. I'm gonna go 360. Yes, look behind you. I know my neighborhood, so I'm just gonna go nice and slowly back up. And look how the lane lines turn as I turn the wheel. That yellow is kind of a directional. So you got that going for you, which is nice. Right, as we merge and accelerate into traffic, perfect time to talk about the engine on the Santa Fe Sport. There are five, six, and seven seat configurations. We've got the five seat configuration with us here. Now engines will be based on trim level. Let's go ahead and run it down. The Santa Fe Sport is powered by an efficient 2.4 liter four cylinder direct injected engine with 185 horses or the more powerful turbocharged two liter four cylinder which gets you 240 horses. That's what we have here. Now, the 2018 Santa Fe three row, which we don't have, uses a 3.3 liter Lambda V6 engine, 290 horses, and all Santa Fe engines utilize what Hyundai calls high pressure direct injection and dual continuously variable valve timing. A six speed automatic transmission is standard on all models and active cornering control and a windshield wiper de-icer is also standard on the all-wheel drive Santa Fe models. So here's a look at your real world backseat legroom and headroom and first off this may be a little deceiving because if you have turned off the car this seat the driver's seat comes back to give yourself more legroom to get out of the car and into the driver's seat so i have the car turned on right now so if you can hear the engine that's why so i can put my seat back to my original 
driving position. I'm 5'11", and here's how much room I have between my knees and the back of the seat. A little bit tight. I don't understand why, but a little bit tight. But good thing they have a nice little indent here to create a little bit more room between my knees and the back of the seat. So I've got about that much room right there. Uh, headroom, get out of town. One of my favorite features in a car is panoramic sunroofs. I had this recently in a Volvo V90 where it went all the way back behind your head. And here's another great example of what Hyundai has done with this 2018 to make it extremely spacious. And we're only looking at you know, two rows of seating. You do have the uh, third row option in other vehicles, but we have the two rows. So, hey, I love the headroom here. I feel good. A little more room would be nice behind the driver's seat, but hey, that's me sitting behind myself. You can slide here in the middle. It comes up a little bit, a little bit of a ridge right here, and the seat's a little more firm versus right here behind the driver or behind the passenger. But I like these leather trim seats, which are perforated. So it's got some good ventilation here. We have a fold down armrest. <clears throat> Push a button here, comes out, reveals two cup holders. And this is a 60-40 fold down split. I'll show you about uh, the cargo in a little bit. How many uh, O-Blank candles? Four ski. All the way around, we've got O-Blank candles. So if you are uh, taking this all wheel drive off road, you can hang on nice with these handles. Uh, compartments behind the driver and passenger seat, leather uh, compartment inside the door panel for um, a bottle of water or something like that. And you've got these uh, sunshades that slide up too on ours. And we have that top trim level. Great color scheme here with the, the browns and the tans, a vent here along the edge. So comfort wise, it's very good. I like it a little bit firm here in the center and knee room could be a little bit better for me being 5'11", but hey, you gotta live with it, right? Let's move on. All right, I am uh, three or four days in on my loan. Just wanna give you an update on some uh, technology as well as my fuel economy midway. Yes, this is Apple CarPlay compatible, which means also Android Auto. And this is what the screen looks like. So you can go, once you have your phone plugged in, I have my iPhone plugged in, you can still get back to the Hyundai information. So there's the Hyundai information with a map, radio, then I go back to my Apple CarPlay and I can see what's on my phone. There's my podcasting. If I get any instant messages, they'll pop up right there. Phone calls, maps, and so on. Now let me take you to the fuel economy after my first four days. 340 miles. So I've been in the car for nine hours. I'm gonna toggle down with this right here. Arrow down, and that takes me to 91, 91 degrees. But almost 24 miles per gallon is what I've been averaging on this first full tank of gas. So now I'm down to basically empty, and I've uh, my range is only 19 miles. So I put a lot of miles in the vehicle. I probably have another 10 or 15 more before I'd get really scared. Anyways, that's my update with my fuel economy and a little bit about this infotainment screen, which is pretty standard once you get to the 16, 17, and now 18 range of the Hyundai Santa Fe. So there are three ways to open the lift gate of the 18 Santa Fe Sport. There's a button just above where you slide back this panoramic sunroof. There's one here on the key fob. You can press and hold that. Otherwise, just below the Hyundai icon to the right of the backup camera, soft pad, press it, it comes up. So now you're looking at 35 cubic feet of volume behind this back row of seats. And I've put my golf clubs in here as a prop. So you can kind of see the length of golf clubs can easily fit in the back. So if I'm going like this, look at that. My driver's heads just slide in. So there you go. I'm gonna take them out because I wanna show you what it looks like when you fold them down. There are two ways to fold down that middle row seat to increase it to 71 and a half cubic feet of volume. There's pull tabs here, I'll pull one. But the other way, you can do that in both, for both seats. You can go on inside of here and pull this tab. And now you've increased it to 71 and a half. So oh, here's what it looks like. You put your everyman driver, let's see, directly, yeah, directly, there you go. So that's good. So if you wanna utilize this panoramic sunroof, do some camping, go on an adventure, look at the stars, whatever, this is great for that. So just chill in the back, put your head up. Look at that, not too bad, right? So 71 and a half cubic feet of volume. And when you're ready to go, put your golf clubs back in. 
Oh yeah, there is a compartment down here for a jack and also extra storage. This right here, more storage. Gosh, there's tons of storage. If you're ready to leave, press a button up here, it comes down, you can walk away, and guess what? Then you're good to go. Here's a quick demo on the lane departure warning system. So I'm going down the highway, going to the speed limit, I've got my lane departure activated. Now watch what happens when I start to sway a little bit to the left or the right. Watch what happens. There it goes. Now I'm gonna go to the right. Watch what happens here. A great little audible alert to let you know that you are going outside the lines. One more time. And to the right. Okay, there you go. There's your real experience with the safety feature called lane departure warning. Standard safety equipment on this 18 Santa Fe lineup includes vehicle stability management with electronic stability control and traction control system, seven airbags, including a driver's knee airbag, four-wheel disc brakes and ABS with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, hill start assist control, and downhill brake control and a tire pressure monitoring system. All right, my full week with the 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe is now complete. In a few hours, my new press vehicle will arrive. And I was going through my archives. I've been driving and reviewing the Hyundai Santa Fe since 2013 on-road and off-road. So check it out on my channel. Please subscribe. Uh, one more thing before we go. The estimated fuel economy is 19 city, 24 highway. So let's do a final recap on what I've achieved in mixed driving, because I had a really good stint of doing some highway driving. So let me turn it around. I use this button here to cycle through in the instrument cluster. And my range is 54, 19.5 miles per gallon. Hyundai's looking for an average of 21. I can kind of go down here to, I've driven 406 miles, 12 and a half hours in the car. And again, the average is 19.5. Well, that's going to officially wrap up my week-long review of the 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Let's do a quick cameo. There's Hershey and there's Maximus. Hey, buddy. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time for another detailed week-long review here at Everyman Driver. Adios. Hey guys, it's Dave. I just want to say thanks once again for supporting Everyman Driver and watching my videos. Can you do me a small favor? The next time you're in the market for a new or used car and want to schedule a test drive or just want to get a really great price quote from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below and fill out a short form. It's car.show forward slash everyman driver. Now it's totally free to you and there's no obligation whatsoever to buy or lease anything. It's just a quick and easy way for you to help support my work and keep this channel going. There's also a free phone number 844-765-0610 and you can talk to a car segment specialist for car shopping advice and direction. That call is also free to you. The link again, car.show forward slash everyman driver. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.